as we are back here with half number two, and we apologize um, for a little bit of a delay. We were having some technical difficulties. Welcome to the world of technology. As the first shot of the second half goes up from the Knicks, and great basket cut there by number 13 of the Knicks. That is Ryan Russo, my guy right there. So we'll see what the Cavs can do here um, as they come out in the second half with the lead. We will see what type of offense they're going to do getting to the rack. As we have a mid-range jumper. And I will preface this that if, if something does happen with our technology throughout this broadcast, um, I do apologize ahead of time, uh, but we are we are doing the best that we can. So I've just been informed from my uh, from my producer that this is on tape delay right now because Verizon happened to go kaplunk on us and those of us that have AT&T like yours truly nothing went out so I'm sitting here laughing hysterically um, but we will play basketball as usual and make sure that the kids get the most out of these five on five games as we have a as we have a turnover here and the Cavs are pushing the ball down the floor great bounce pass And number 22 for the Cavs there getting to the hoop. That is Nate Gillespie out of Mifflinburg, PA. And as we just get over the half past of the hour of 8 o'clock, the sun is starting to have already set here in wonderful Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania. Um, we are here at Susquehanna University um, where we will be for the next couple of days that we will call home with all of these awesome campers. And then these kids will get to go home, use the stuff that they have learned throughout this camp, take it back to their high school teams, their middle school teams, their AAU teams, take it back to even their NBA games on the Xbox, whatever the case may be. As we have a turnover here by the Cavs, and the Knicks push the ball up the floor, and we have a great three-point shot there by... The Knicks, number 13, Russo. And we're going to see what Baron Stauffenberg can do here. And he shoots for three, and it is cash money. And let's see Isaiah go to work. Let's see what he can do. One-on-one -on -one iso. Great rebound there by the big man. Number 99, Austin Raymer of the Knicks. And ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, I came from dinner, or we all came from dinner before our four on four, or five on five games tonight. And each night, or not each night, tonight, we're letting the kids order pizza and to be honest, I'm hoping there's a few leftovers because I am super hungry right now. And being an athlete, my metabolism is absolutely through the roof. So after this, after our games conclude tonight, which our last game is going to tip off at 9 o'clock, um, and that game is going to be between Golden... No, sorry, that game's going to be... Yes, that game's going to be between the Sixers and Golden State. And only if that was a true reality in the NBA... Unfortunately, this year, Sixers fans, your time came up short, and the Golden State Warriors literally took it to LeBron James. I'm not even going to say the Cavaliers, but they took it to LeBron James. As we have a great finish there by the by the New York Knicks player. As the Cavs' lead is down to two, it is 39 to 37. Great ball movement here by the Cavs. Great shot by number four, the little man himself from the Cavs. That is Gabriel Coleman out of Tamaqua, PA. And he is a youngster. He is an eighth grader. Well done, little man. And great take there by number 10. And great finish by the man himself, number 99, Austin Raymer.
Great follow. Great put back. And Isaiah comes down with the rebound. Great ball movement. Way to be unselfish. And a great finish by Austin. We have another miss layup. Another quick transition again. For as long as that halftime was, it seems as if the Cavaliers are getting a little bit gassed, and I'm sure they could use a timeout sub opportunity. As we have a block by the Greek freak himself, Isaiah. Great court vision. Passes it up to Austin. Austin finishes it again for the layup as the score is now 45 to 42. So the score is changing hands as we do come to another substitution timeout. And as we are back underway here at Susquehanna University, I was just talking with one of our coaches, Kelly, who's the assistant coach at Case Western in Ohio. We did get our pizza ordered. She did order pepperoni. And she said the only reason that she ordered that is because the only other pizza that she likes is cheese. And two other coaches and myself looked at her and said, well, what about mushrooms or bacon? And she gave the look. They won't let me because I'm already established. They won't let me lose Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am back in town. We had some Wi-Fi 
difficulties with my producer, the guy that I call my boss, because without him, all this stuff doesn't look good at all. all right. So we're back underway here um, with Isaiah bringing the ball down, and the game is now tied at 49 apiece. So we will see what these two teams can do. We will see what they can put together as we have a bit of a post-up play here with Austin as he gets the layup for two. And you're starting to see it a little bit. Second game of the night for these teams. Legs are starting to get a little tired, but let this be known to you that we still have two more nights, sorry, three more days of basketball. And I can always remember my basketball days when I would go to a camp and it'd be like, oh my gosh, the first night I am done. So that means young players. That means get your feet up. That means make sure you're wearing new socks. Um, that means <laughs> that means make sure that you're showering. That means make sure that you're not being stinky. All of that stuff. Oh, great ball handling skills. Great handles by number 19 as he goes for the fadeaway. That was Isaiah for the Cavs. And bringing the ball up for the Knicks is number 99, Austin. And great rebound there by, by Isaiah. Pushing the ball up the floor. Great court vision to number five for the Cavs. That is Brady Sherry out of Tamaqua, PA. Great shot fake. Great mid-range jumper from, from number zero for the Cavs. That is Ronan Serrano out of Bloomsburg as we have another substitution timeout. So some brand new players coming onto the court. And we are back live as we are done with our, <laughs> we're not back live, we're still on tape delay, but we are live here in person. So if you do want to come to Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania, where I said there is one sheets, there is one post office, and there is a wonderful community you are more than welcome to. But why would you want to do that when we're the only live streaming camp here in the country when Isaiah takes it strong to the basket. My man, the Cleveland Cavalier, sign him, sign him up. LeBron James, you got yourself a new teammate. It's another reason why he should take the $36.5 million player option by June 29th. As we have another ship here by Isaiah, what does he do? Goes to the rack strong for the finish. Great offensive board there by number 18, Stauffenberg, as he is going to go to the line and shoot two. As the score right now, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Knicks, 55, the Cavs, 53. Let's see if the Cavs can tie it up. And let it be known, for some of you that have been watching the earlier, um, commentaries and games. I have not had to do any push-ups yet, which that's okay. I'm all right. My producer over here is trying to work on his Wi-Fi. It's McKinley. McGinley, sorry. McGinley, not McKinley. McGinley dribbles the ball. And now we have from downtown, with an unfortunate miss there by number 13, Ryan Russo. And great pass there to number four, Gabriel Coleman from number 22, Nate Gillespie. And Isaiah again all over the offensive boards. And Gillespie here for the steal. What does he do? Does he go to the rack or does he settle for a two-point shot? Goes to the rack. And we have a rebound by the Knicks. The ball's still in play. Whistle was never blown. Let's see what Russo can do. McGinley spots up for three. And he is just short. As we are a few minutes into our last period here, and the shot 
from Stauffenberg is off as Stauffenberg, Stauffenberg gets the ball and then Russo takes the ball from him. Russo goes up strong, looks for the foul, doesn't get the call. Ooh, Isaiah with the ball handled. Great vision, looks for number 21, Toby Berg out of the Tamaqua area. And Isaiah is on fire. I think, Coach Russo, I think I found who I'm going to be interviewing after the game today. It's going to be Isaiah meme sick he looks out like, of the Canton area. He looks like he's limping a, a little bit right now. I hope maybe it's just a little a knee bump the knee. Yeah, we'll see how he responds to that adversity. I always tell my tell my players whenever they hit adversi adversity, what are they going to do? And I, and I transition that into a life a life thing as we have two minutes remaining here in the game. Um, so we'll see what these two teams can do with a tie score of 56-56. Nice step in. Great take there by McKinley for the Knicks as they go up by two. It is 58 to 56 with a couple minutes remaining. Isaiah keeps finding a nice pass. As, Co as Toby Berg goes one for one from the line so far. How much time left? One minute. And one for two from the line, but the board from Isaiah. As the score is now 58 to 57 in favor of the New York Knicks. McGinley with the cut. No foul on the contact. Isaiah behind the back. Wow. Parents text. Oh, wow. The number that has been shown on the screen to get that highlight reel. As we have Good. 20 seconds remaining left in the game with the Knicks up by one. Good defense. Eight, seven, six, oh, wow. five, four, this? three, the score two, here? one. Oh, and that is game. The New York Knicks 59, the Cleveland, or sorry, New York Knicks 60, Cleveland Cavaliers 57. Please stay tuned for the players of the game. Alrighty, this is Coach Smith here with Isaiah Nimzik for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Isaiah, how do you feel about your performance and the team's performance tonight? Um, I feel we could have slowed things down a little bit on fast breaks and got more open looks on offense. And I, I myself could have done a better job of slowing it down, and we, us as a team, should have done a better job of slowing it down. All right. As as I watched you throughout the game, I noticed you had some really good ball handling skills. Is do you typically play the point for your high school or middle school team? Uh, no, I mean I usually play it down low in the paint and yeah. Okay. All right. Very cool. So moving forward, we have a few days remaining here in camp. What are some things that you would like to work on individually and then work on as a team in these five on five games? Uh, I would like to work on being better at bringing the ball up and slowing the ball down a little bit and working the ball around a little more. How about as a team? As a team, we should all work together to, to um, 
move the move the ball around better and get more open looks in the post to get our big guys to score more. All right, Isaiah, thank you so much for your time and good luck. All right, Coach Smith here with Ryan Russo, one of our other players of the game. Ryan, how do you think you and your team's performance was tonight? I think it was good. That was our first win, so it was good. It's always good to get that first win under your belt. Hey, one of the things that really stuck out to me about you was your hustle tonight. You were getting up and down the floor. You had probably three or four steals um, this game. So that shows that you're a very aggressive player. Going into the next few days at camp, what are some things that you would like to work on individually and then as a team in these five-on-five -five games? Um, like passing it down into the post so we get uh, more points in the paint because we have two of the bigger guys on our team. All right, very cool. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Russo. Good luck with the many matches. First name again? What's that? Yeah. All right, we, Coach Smith here with Nate Gillespie. Yeah. Nate, how do you think you and your team's performance was tonight? Yeah, we're just uh, recording. I think we played solid. We had a rough first game, but I think we came out and I mean, we have a lot to improve on too, but I think we came out and we showed improvement just after one game. Yeah, I would, I would totally agree with that. I, I saw you getting up and down the floor really well. All right, you were getting up and down in transition. So with the remaining days left in camp, what are some things that you would like to work on individually and then as a team? Uh, individually, I want to work on my defense and creating space off the dribble. And as a team, I think that we just need to come together more. Uh, we don't know each other very well, but we're working on it. Some we're working on. All right, well, thank you very much for your time and good luck.